everybody, this is Elena Love here, and I am up here in Fort Bragg, California, recording this from my hotel room, actually my room at the Living Light Inn, which is an organic, beautiful, amazing place to stay. And they have all organic bedding, organic towels, it's wonderful to be here with the Living Light Raw uh, food students, She's learning at the Raw Culinary School, and I'm teaching two weeks worth of classes, and so this week we are learning, and um, they are learning, and I'm teaching the raw um, fusion, or raw, it's called raw fusion, which is more um, low-fat, light cuisine that the students are coming up with, all kinds of recipes from only seven different ingredients that they get to choose from per day. So tomorrow is going to be Caribbean and African cuisine and Cajun, uh, so that should be fun in Latin America to see what they come up with. Um, so I'm on day 67 of my juice feast and feeling a little ready to be done. <laughs> I'm just tired of being around food and not being able to eat it and feeling like um, I've got 25 more days to go and just every day is just counting down the days. So just feeling that way today. Some days are easier than others. Some days I have energy and I'm excited and I feel motivated, inspired. And other days like today, I just want to go out and eat something warm and yummy and, you know, it's raining here and it's cold and I just I want comfort. So that's what I'm dealing with. A lot of emotions have been coming up. It was my son's, well, Thursday, today's Tuesday. Thursday will be my son's 15th birthday. Um, so it's just painful for me knowing that he would have been 15 on Thursday. Um, so just dealing with that and dealing with Mother's Day this month and all the things that are coming up for me. and looking forward to um, being back home and being with my family there and just the love that I have there in Patagonia and, you know, just feeling all of it, loving where I am in the moment and feeling what it's like to be in the moment without trying to be somewhere else or, you know, even trying to rush through this 92-day juice feast of, like, wishing it was over because I was just looking back um, on some posts I had done on, on juicefeasting.com and it was day um, 13 when I was moving and I'm like, wow, that seems like so long ago that it was day 13. Here I am, day 67. So I know, like with anything, this will pass. This day will pass. This juice feast will pass. I'll be on to other things and I'll probably look back on this with some kind of, well, definitely with fondness and with maybe even the feeling of how easy it was when I was juice feasting to not be dealing with food or thinking about food or having food in my body. So I'm realizing that everything is a gift and every day is a gift, so enjoying this moment and this day of um, where I'm at. You know, this is where I am. I am where I am and I can't really be anywhere else. So instead of trying to rush it, I'm just getting that I need to just be in it, be here. It's um, evening time now. We've finished the day and I've actually got, I don't know if you can see this, but I've got a beautiful view out my window of the ocean so I get to sit here I get to wake up in the morning with a sunny ocean view on sunny days or like on a day like today it's a little drizzly but I can run on the beach I've been doing yoga in my room um, been enjoying really very simple juices I've been doing a lot of cucumber celery kale juice and doing grapefruits um, as the only juice that's sweet because grapefruit actually lowers the blood sugar versus any other sweet things. But I am actually deciding to have a little bit of orange juice. I'm going to probably make some orange juice tonight or for tomorrow because I just need something else to motivate me to keep me going. been drinking teas, been putting cacao and making hot chocolate drinks every once in a while, but I'm just kind of tired of everything. I didn't have any of that today. I had some tea today and some green juice, and I'm actually really behind on my amount of green juice I should be drinking. I've only drank like one quart today. Can you tell that I'm tired of green juice? <laughs> um, so I thought, I went and bought some oranges. I bought a variety of navel and um, things, and I'm just going to have orange juice, you know. And there's no right or wrong juice feast. Sometimes people will see me eating a, a lime or something, and sometimes I'll even eat a grapefruit with the you know, peel the skin off, but eat the pulpy part of the grapefruit, and I'm like, you know, this is my juice feast, I'm doing it the way that feels good to me, everybody's different um, on how they're going to get through 92 days of juice feasting, but I'm really happy, and I'm really happy with how I've been doing things, and how this juice feast has progressed, I feel really good in my body, I feel energized, I feel, you know, good with the size my body is, 
the energy level that I have, the way it looks in my clothes. I've actually been having to go out and buy new pants and clothes because everything's falling off me at this point. Which is kind of fun. I just go to thrift stores and buy new jeans and get some really cool, cute jeans for 5 and $6 each. So having fun with that and um, I'm just loving it, loving everything. I'm really enjoying, now that I'm talking, I'm enjoying the green. I've been mixing green powders and actually I use a um, green powder. I'm going to grab it here. It's called Quantum's Greens Mix. And I don't know if I've showed you this one before. Quantum's Greens Mix. It's a green powder. I keep my measuring spoon right in here. It's a green powder. You can see that. Green powder, um, and I just mix that in with a quart of water and some stevia usually. And I've also been for fun adding banana extract to my juices, um, and then it'll make the green juice taste more like a banana smoothie. So I'll put some stevia and a couple droppers of my banana extract in there. And the banana extract that I use is on my website, purejoyplanet.com, and it's um, a pure essence of banana and the um, the botanicals of it. So it's it's really delicious and it tastes just like banana, even though there's no sugar in it and no glycemic load. I've also been playing with Lakanto sugar, which is um, another product that's on my website, and that's made from erythritol, which is sugar alcohol, which isn't really sugar or alcohol, but they call it sugar alcohol, and it's basically um, zero glycemic and zero calorie, and it's a sweetener that acts and looks like sugar, and on the tongue it tastes a little cool, like almost cold and um, it doesn't react in your body, it doesn't create an insulin load. Um, your pancreas does not produce insulin when you have this sweetener. So it's a fun little treat that I can use in my morning elixirs or um, we've been making, playing around with making some raw chocolates um, that I'm going to be teaching at my Cafe Gratitude class this weekend. So that's another fun thing just to be playing around with a low calorie sweetener, low glycemic, zero glycemic, low, zero calorie sweetener. Lakanto sugar. So, um, having more fun playing, I'll share more with you soon. I'm sure I'll be back before my fast is over. And I wish you guys all a great week. Bye.